So you're a new YouTuber and you want to make sure you're doing things right. You're probably watching lots of YouTube videos. There's some out there that say, don't make these mistakes. Um, I decided that I'm going to make a video telling you five things that maybe you could focus on. Sometimes when you see lists of 23 or 40 or 50 things that you need to do, it gets overwhelming. So I made a list of five tips. You can kind of go through them as a new YouTuber, make sure you're doing these simple things. What you do today as a new YouTuber, I want to share that as opposed to what you might be doing five years from now are going to be totally different. So if you're brand new, and you're on YouTube and you want to make sure you're doing some things right to help you grow your channel, I've got those five tips for you. My name is Vanessa DeBrule and let's get started. And is be consistent in what you're doing on your channel. What do I mean by that? Many times you hear people say pick a niche, N-I-C-H-E or a niche, however you want to say it. What they mean by that is when you're presenting something on your channel, decide what your channel is going to be about. It's no different than you going to watch a TV program. If you like to watch the Flintstones as a cartoon and you turn it on Saturday morning, I don't know why I picked the Flintstones, but you go to turn it on Saturday morning and all of a sudden it's something else you're not gonna keep watching TV at that time because you're expecting the Flintstones or your favorite show. Again, I don't know why I picked that um, because I don't watch it. All right, so pick what you want your channel to be about. So if you're doing something about the different uh, types of art, uh, different uh, types of painting per se, I, I'm trying to think of something. Um, so maybe you're talking about um, charcoal and sketching and paints and, and acrylic paints and all these different things then when I come to your channel or when I watch one of your videos, I'm going to expect it to have something to do with art. Okay. So that could be what your channel is about. Now you may also love to play the clarinet and you might say, well, I'm going to start teaching people how to play the clarinet. Well, that's two different groups of people, even though you love both things, focus on one at a time. Now, maybe in the background, you could have a song playing or something here and there. Fine. But your channel has to be consistent about your topic. On my channel, you're going to find out different ways you can make money um, online, and you're going to find out that I prefer affiliate marketing and I use my YouTube as my main platform. So that kind of all goes together within my business model. So those are things that you'll find when you go to my website or to my YouTube channel. Now, I've had a couple of ideas of other things I want to do. Then I want to build another channel, and they can be connected and they can help each other. So for now, focus on the one. Now you might say, well, I don't want to build a business or I don't want to talk about building a business. Maybe you're, you're funny. Maybe you'd love to find other videos that are entertaining. You could get a collection of those and make a YouTube channel out of it. I mean, it can be that simple. Or maybe you just like making your own funny videos and, and you might think, well, who wants to see that? Find out, start making them and see if you get people to watch them or go out and search for videos that other people made in that same genre genre and um if people are watching them then you know that well if they like their videos and they're funny they're going to like mine too so it can be for other reasons it can be entertainment it can be for health and fitness it can be all kinds of things you name it it can work but you just have to make sure people want what you're offering okay so i want you to be focused i want you to choose that niche be focused on that niche or niche <laughs> and then be consistent. And what I mean by that, on top of it, be consistent in what you're presenting and be consistent in providing the content. So don't make three or four videos this week and then say, ah, eh, nobody's watching it. I'm not going to make any more. And then a month from now, you know, decide you're going to do it again. You have to be serious. Um, is, is YouTube going to come along and kick you off because you're not consistent? No, they could care less because they're paying attention to people who want to work hard, right? So if you don't, it's fine. They don't care. But your, your audience is going to care. And if you're not consistently providing things and they subscribe to your channel, they might unsubscribe and say, well, I don't even know when they're going to make another video. So be, whatever your plan is, make a plan and stick to it. So that's number one. Number two. I hope, I want you to check that you have your channel fixed up correctly. There is a setting in your YouTube, um, in your channel where you can set up your description and things like that. You don't have to keep going in and redoing the entire description. I have a video that I made that takes you step by step. It's five things that you need to have when you're setting up your channel. Just go through it and make sure your settings are correct. So you can have all of your description already 
in the settings and you don't have to keep on adding that. Now, what I do is I set it up in the settings and then at the top is where I change it every video because every video has a different description specifically to that video. But everything after that where I'm sharing my social media accounts and I'm sharing other videos and things like that, I keep that consistent. Do I change it every now and then? Absolutely. I've updated it two or three times actually, but it's cool because I can update it very quickly and it's all setting right there and I don't have to take that time. So it's a huge time saver. Three is I want you to pay attention to your presentation. So like you see what I'm doing here, this is my presentation. Um, pay attention to what you want people to see. So some people like to move around. They like to go to different rooms in their house. That's fine, but pay attention to what's in the background. I actually just set up a studio in our extra bedroom. It happens to have a little bit of a brick wall behind me. Um, I was using my office, but I was, um, I didn't have a lot of space. So, you know, we have an extra bedroom and I went ahead and set it up. I happen to have this wall. Well, I use this all the time. No, sometimes I like to move. Sometimes I like to go outside, but decide where you're going to film and then make sure like if you're in your living room or in your office um, pay attention to what's behind you because i know sometimes people will put a bookshelf behind them but then it's all cluttered and there's stuff there and it can be distracting so just set up your your um, environment of what you're going to do and make sure it's not cluttered and it can be appealing and sure sometimes you'll make a mistake and change it but that's what is wonderful about this business it doesn't have to stay the same another thing i want you to pay attention to is when you get ready to talk know what you're going to talk about now i know a lot of people will say follow this exact script and some people will even write out every word they're going to say for me if i do that i will sound like i'm reading to you so i don't do that i actually make a bullet point this is what i want to share and i bullet point it and then i talk about it because it's something i know about so if you're uncomfortable and maybe you're freezing up because you're afraid and you need a script and do it. I did on my very, very first video, I did a Facebook live. I was shaking. I was, and the funny thing is nobody even watched it. Um, as I was doing it, it was live, but nobody popped in. Thank God. But I did have a script that I read right off of my um, laptop and I used the webcam from my laptop, but it was my first indoctrination into making a live video. I drank a shot of whiskey before I got on, I calmed myself down, I did some breathing exercise, everything you can imagine. But then, yes, I did read, but I had to get over that hump. And I realized that nobody cares. Um, so just get on there and do it. Um, they have other things to worry about. So get over that first time. But for me, like I said, bullet points work better. But what I want you to be careful about, when I say um, a script, you want to have an idea of what you're going to say, and you want to always introduce yourself, who you are, and number two, tell the audience right away, what is this video going to be about? Because some people only watch your video for two or three minutes because they go, I don't need that. It's not because they don't like you. It's usually because what you have to say is not what they need, or you've been going on for 20 minutes and they can't figure out why you're even there. I have had videos like that. They had a great thumbnail, a great topic, and I'm sitting there wanting the information. I'm not kidding. Sometimes 10 or 15 minutes go by and they've not said anything. And that is frustrating to me. I've stopped following a couple of people because of that. I know it's a tactic to get people to watch longer, but I don't have time for that, just like you don't. So I'll stop talking about that part. Um, another thing that I want you to do in your presentation is make sure you don't have dead space. So if you forget what you're going to say, you might end up having a little bit of dead space, meaning that all of a sudden you're trying to think of something or maybe you're looking for your little paper. Learn how to do simple editing so that you can just chop that part out, okay? Because there are times, um, I do that now, I might look down at my paper for too long and I just keep going with my video and now I know how to edit it out. When I first started, I didn't know how to do that and I really focused, I, I actually restarted the video over and over because I just didn't know how to edit. But simple editing, um, I use a tool called Camtasia. I paid for it once back in 2018 it's on my laptop and I use it all the time and I simple editing. I just cut those parts out. I don't have big, wild, fancy videos. You know that if you watch me, but I do very simple editing so that I can continue to talk and not have to worry about starting all over. So get rid of those dead spaces or if you feel like you messed up a little bit, um, get rid of those, okay? To keep the flow going through the video so people can watch it. And the other thing I want to talk 
about is have confidence. Okay. Talk to your camera and have confidence about your subject. You're you've created the channel because you're an expert in that field. You're an expert with art. You know about all the different, um, I can't think of the right word, but all the different styles of art, like the, the charcoal and all that stuff. So talk about it and have confidence and be excited about it. Okay. If you just, you know, hang back and you're all humdrum and you act like you don't even know what you're talking about. People aren't going to watch you or listen to you. Okay. And so think about all those things within your presentation. All right. So let's look at number four. One other thing that I want you to have in your presentation is a call to action. Many of us are on YouTube because we are, we have a business. We want to be monetized. We want to create a business. The lucky ones who have hit over 10,000 uh, subscribers, they can start selling things on there. I mean, there's all kinds of benefits that you keep getting as you keep growing. But right now in the beginning, you, you might be selling something. You might have an e-commerce business. Um, you might be offering coaching. Maybe you've already created a business in affiliate marketing on your website and this is new to you and you're just like oh i don't know what to do well you can tell people about the different products that you might be using and, and start giving a review with them or something like that and then provide the link below for affiliate marketing maybe you have different products that you want to share with people um, and you can get links from amazon and put them below especially if you're doing the art we'll stick with that little topic okay so always have a call to action at the very least ask people to subscribe to your channel like this subscribe to my channel right now and i will provide two videos a week for you about affiliate marketing and building your business online using youtube as your platform all right so get people to do something they're not going to do it unless you ask them and number five i think is the most important tip that i can give you are you ready give yourself grace relax have fun. It all goes together, right? If you make a horrible video and, and you watch it and you go, oh my gosh, I messed up. Most people, I have found 99.9% .9 of the people do not criticize. I have had videos that I'm like, after I went back and watched it, maybe it popped up or something. And, I, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I've, people have been so kind. Um, I've had people suggest things. I remember one time I had this striped shirt on um, and it was just like, pulsating somehow the lighting the way it hit it and one of my watcher you know subscribers said you might not want to wear that shirt again and i didn't really pay attention to it as i went through I, it was a busy day or something but she was so kind and when she said it i left it there as an example um because it's not like it has a million views right but i tend now i make sure i wear just a plain top um but that's an example so give yourself grace because everybody else will and relax and just enjoy what you're doing. You are going to suck in the beginning, possibly not, but most of us do, and you're only gonna keep getting better. No matter what you do in life, you do your best right now, and then keep doing it, and you just keep getting better, all right? That's what life's all about. Thank you for watching. I hope those five tips helped you. Hopefully you're already doing all five. I, I hopefully you're here right now going, well, I already knew all that. That was a waste of my time. It's not a waste of your time because you found out you're doing the right things, okay? Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next video.